Yo, I can't believe it. I didn't want to make a video on this, but I saw how much money they made overnight and I absolutely flipped my shit. They're lying again. They're lying to steal money. They did this back in July of 2022. When I was raided by the USDA, my business, they set up their own fake campaign to distract from me. They did this whole sob story thing. Oh, give us money, give us money. I personally didn't do any of that. No sob story for me. I didn't beg for money. I didn't get a dime. And they're doing it again. Amos Miller, the greedy thief. I don't know if it's his lawyer, Mr. Barnes, that wants the money. Who knows? But this is absolutely comical. It's absolutely insane. They're on mainstream news begging for money, absolutely lying. So as I, I mean, I did a video on this last year explaining the whole scenario. So if you guys missed that video, you might want to watch that first. But you know what happened when I made a Kickstarter to start my business back in 2019? Kickstarter took it down. And looking at their numbers, it's crazy. They had a GoFundMe a few years ago where they made almost $200,000. Now there was two more funds. One of them was at $15,000 last night. Now it's up to $44,000. One was at $60,000 last night. Now it's up to $176,000. Me, a legitimate small business. I'm trying to help these small Amish farms. When I ask you guys for help, when I give away product, giving away butter, when I'm trying to promote these people and put money in the hands of the right people, I get censored and shadow banned. And these people are on mainstream news with these white smoke campaign. And by white smoke, I mean like it's a fake fire. It's fake. They're liars. If this was a legitimate, they're stealing money. So back in July of 2022, he straight up lied about being raided. The farm wasn't raided. They just did a whole publicity stunt, 100% fabricated. This time... They might have actually got raided by the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture on a small scale. But at most, at most, it would be a few thousand dollars worth of product. For them to do this is absolutely insane and disgusting. It's absolutely criminal. It's absolutely criminal. I don't like talking about negative things. I don't like doing this. But there's so many of these fake controlled opposition shills. Look, you don't have to buy anything from me. You can hate me. You can hate my guts. You can say whatever you want about me, but don't buy from this guy. Buy from any other Amish farm. I, I think even buying meat from the grocery store is more genuine than buying from this two-faced... I'll be a gentleman today. I'll be a gentleman. So their claim is legal fees. And I found the court case. 21-0601-0695 Federal Meat Inspection Act. So the reason Amos Miller is in a court case and begging for money is because he was illegally selling meat. They were selling meat that was not USDA inspected and they made up lies about it. They said, oh, we don't want to spray the carcass with such a... You don't have to. You do not have to spray the carcass under USDA regulations. He just doesn't want to pay for a proper facility. I don't know what they're doing. Some backyard Amish, dirty, ridiculous dog slaughtering. I don't know what they're doing, but he's a liar. So the state decided to pursue them for selling illegal meat. And it looks like the lawyer charged them about $55,000 in legal proceedings. And the state fined them $50,000. So their total expense is allegedly $105,000. However, there's no proof he paid this. Best case scenario for him, like as in the most amount of money he would ever need. Well, best case scenario, I don't know. Point is, at most... He got jerked around by his lawyer for 55 grand and he owes a $50,000 fine. Either way, at this point, he's stolen over $300,000 in total. The fine is not paid yet because the court case isn't over. And he might not have paid his lawyer yet. So, so who knows how much money he actually spent. And the court case seems like a giant circle jerk. I honestly don't know if it's legitimate because the legal proceedings and the motions did not make any sense to me. But this guy has made... Millions and millions of dollars over who knows how many, I don't know how many years he's been in business for, a lot longer than me. This guy has made millions of dollars over 10, 20 years. And, and he, now he's doing these publicity stunts to like, it doesn't, make any, it doesn't make any sense. The amount of money he's making, how small the fine is from the court case, how it keeps going on, it seems like a big publicity stunt. When I got raided by the USDA, 
I didn't get any help. I just disposed of the product and moved on with my business and that was that. And I spent way more money than that. I'm, I'm well over six figures into my lawyers and court cases. And the court cases against me were started by these people, these people that are begging for money now and getting it. And that was against me in attempts to shut down my business. And in hindsight, I should have disappeared to Italy or Mexico or Colombia by now. And uh, I probably said this in that previous video that I linked in the beginning. This guy only cares about money and, and you should support those legitimate, any, any other business. I don't care if you're buying, uh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't care if you're buying drugs off the street at the corner. At least the drug dealer is more legitimate than this guy. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this is like, this is wild to me. This is wild to me. They made over $150,000 just last night and they have not provided any proof whatsoever of their fines or that they made these payments. Plus, how is this guy even getting sued in the legal system? He's Amish. I don't, unless he registered for a social security number. And even if he did, how are they going to, how are they going to take prop? I don't think like the property's registered with the state. Like, I don't even know. Even if they issued a, the marshal issued a levy against him and try they, they can't seize any assets. Like the guy's got nothing to lose. So I think what's happening is the elite are using Amos Miller and maybe Amos Miller's getting a cut of the money, but all, all that money is, is who knows where you're, you're giving it to the wrong people. You're, you're not supporting legitimate small businesses. It, it's absolutely crazy. And it's an insult to people like me that are working hard every day. It's an insult even more to these other Amish farmers that literally work like dogs. These Amish people, they work 10, 15 hours a day, all day, every day to earn an honest living. And most Amish people I know would never ever think of doing anything like this. They don't, Amish people don't, you, you guys don't understand. Amish people do not use social media. The fact that this guy's name is being plastered everywhere, that they, it it's, makes no sense at all. And, and another thing that I, I didn't talk enough about is he is being plastered on all of the amount of views that he's gotten in the past day is probably more than I've ever gotten on my business in the entirety of the four years I've been doing business. So that level of exposure, them allowing that to happen, him not getting taken off of these donation platforms like I would be, it's so clear what's going on here. He's a connected, whether you want to call it the elite, the corporate chills, whatever. This is absolutely wild and comical. Absolutely wild and comical.